Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about macOS Sonoma 14 Beta 2 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. Recently Apple released a Beta 2 update for macOS Sonoma. To update your Mac to Beta 2, simply open System Settings and then go to the Software Update section and then check for updates. Here you can see, the update is available for my device. This macOS Sonoma 14 Beta 2 update size is around 2.55 GB. Click on Update now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device. Enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, macOS Sonoma has been successfully updated to Beta 2. And the build number is 2385276G. And now moving forward and talking about this build, the macOS 14 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sonoma 14 Beta 2. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.2, available from beta software downloads. Talking about the known issues, in general. Non-local files in iCloud Drive might fail to download and open after using Migration Assistant to set up a new volume. Workaround is to ensure the files are uploaded and synced to a cloud drive on the source volume. Then the files will be synced from a cloud drive to the new volume. Regarding accessibility, VoiceOver may not speak inline predictive text in some text fields. Workaround is, users can temporarily turn off inline predictive text in system settings. Next to that, VoiceOver users may not be able to move focus to enter recovery mode. Instead, users will hear accessibility visuals agent has no windows. Workaround is, if users hear Accessibility Visuals Agent has no windows either click the connected mouse trackpad or press F1, and move focus to the desired app. Regarding AirPods new features, to test new features such as adaptive audio, personalized volume, and conversation awareness, developers need to install AirPods beta firmware. With personalized volume, when watching third-party media, a volume slider may show up. Conversation awareness may react to self-made sounds such as humming, and throat clearing, and may fail to end automatically when there is ongoing speech nearby. Conversation Boost and Control Center Hearing Module will not turn on the feature. Regarding known issues for AirPods, press and hold AirPods in settings on iOS, and macOS for AirPods, will only save the noise control rotations on the local device. FaceTime calls from iOS answered with macOS with AirPods stem, might not able to mute. Workaround is, reboot the machine. Spotify app on macOS, will automatically root audio from Spotify on iOS without playing audio. AirPods color may be inverted in a dark mode in the tutorial cards for adaptive audio. Regarding app intents known issues, the deprecated app intent protocol might not show the app intent as deprecated in the shortcuts app. UI shown in widget configuration and the shortcuts editor might not respect the size of an array app parameter. Widget configuration, focus filters, and shortcuts editor might not allow some measurement dimensions to be configured. Regarding ATS and ATS UI deprecations, starting Mac OS 14 Sonoma, whenever the OS detects the usage of ATS or ATS UI APIs, the user will be presented a dialog, stating that the application needs to be updated. Once the dialog is dismissed by the user, the application will exit. Regarding authentication services and passkeys new features, the Credential Provider API for password managers has been expanded to support passkeys. Credential providers can save and offer passkeys for apps and websites across the system. A settings helper allows password manager apps to directly open the settings view, where the credential provider extension for system-wide password autofill and passkey sign-in can be enabled. A settings helper also allows verification code (TOTP) apps to directly open the settings view, where you can configure which app opens verification code setup links. Regarding continuity camera known issues, in control center's video effects menu, clicking on the zoom button should reset the zoom level to the default value. If you're using a continuity camera device with only one camera, or the Apple Studio display camera, it does not reset. Regarding Control Center or Video Preview known issues, Zoom slider in Control Center Video Preview might be missing for apps when center stage is off. Workaround is, rebooting the macOS device might make the issue go away. Regarding FaceTime on Apple TV known issues, when an Apple TV calls a Mac, a non-human readable string may appear in the calling notification. Regarding Find My App known issues, the Find My application on macOS may quit unexpectedly while enabling lost mode on a device. Workaround is, use the Find My application on iCloud.com to enable lost mode. Regarding iCloud known issues, users with iCloud Drive Sync disabled are unable to access settings for some apps using iCloud. Workaround is, enable iCloud Drive Sync, change any settings under App Sensing to iCloud Drive, and disable iCloud Drive Sync. The system settings application might become unresponsive after creating a new account, and then signing out of iCloud. 
workaround is, the escape or return key will work to dismiss the sheet. Since the issue does not seem to occur with existing accounts, trying again later or rebooting should resolve the problem. Regarding iCloud Drive known issues, iCloud Drive folders owned by root or other local users might be inaccessible after upgrading to Sonoma. Enabling desktop and document sync might fail after the upgrade to Sonoma. Workaround is, the user can try again at a later time. Regarding iCloud settings known issues, users might not be able to view apps sensing to drive in iCloud Drive settings. Workaround is, go to iCloud settings, show all, iCloud Drive, app sensing to iCloud Drive. Regarding iPhone widgets on Mac new features, iPhone widgets on Mac may appear duplicated if switching between more than one supported iPhone as source. iPhone widgets on Mac may not be removed when disabling iPhone widgets on Mac in system settings. iPhone widgets on Mac may not populate on the edit widgets add sheet until after reboot post sign in iPhone widgets on Mac may not be removed when signing out of iCloud. iPhone widgets on Mac may not update upon wake from sleep. They will update at the next cadence when the Mac and iPhone are nearby and awake. iPhone widgets on Mac allow XL widgets from iPhone to be available. If assets are not available on the iPhone, the assets will be missing. iPhone widgets on Mac that contain drop-down sortable lists in their configurations may fail to configure. iPhone widgets on Mac may not update upon wake from sleep. They will update at the next cadence when the Mac and iPhone are nearby and awake iPhone widgets on Mac might not be removed when disabling iPhone widgets on Mac in system settings. Regarding known issues, iPhone widgets on Mac may lead to additional power draw on iPhone if a Mac signed into the same iCloud account is present. Workaround is, disable iPhone widgets on Mac in system settings on Mac OS. Regarding localization known issues, some content might appear in English. Some strings might appear clipped. Regarding lockdown mode known issues, when erasing a Mac that has lockdown mode turned on, the lockdown mode state may inadvertently persist in NVRAM. Workaround is, before erasing a Mac with lockdown mode turned on, turn off lockdown mode in system settings, privacy and security, lockdown mode. Regarding login window known issues, users will be missing or duplicated when the multi-user layout is shown. Workaround is, select the other user or press option plus return to show the name and password fields, and enter the credentials for a user that is missing from the layout. When using a smart card, the multi-user layout can be accessed. When the lock screen settings specify login window shows the name and password layout, the user picture and name will be shown when using a smart card. The password field may not show the pin placeholder text when using a smart card. The your password is required to enable touch ID message may be shown when smart card is in use. Regarding Mac App Store known issues, users are unable to create new Apple IDs in the Mac App Store. Workaround is, create an Apple ID in the music app or on another platform, such as the iOS App Store. Regarding maps known issues, when a linear gradient stroke is used with the map ley line in Switchery, the specified gradient color might be ignored. When using map, Xcode emits a runtime warning that publishing changes from within view updates is not allowed. At certain zoom levels, the title of a selected MK marker annotation view can overlap other marker titles. For non-catalyst switchery apps, some maps controls like the legal link and compass appear outside the safe area. Regarding media resolved issues, fix muting capture in all other tabs when Safari starts camera and or microphone capture in a tab. Regarding messages known issues, the transcription for long audio messages is truncated without a way to expand and view the full transcription. The catch-up affordance might display incorrectly. Workaround is, leave and return to the affected conversation. Unexpected visual artifacts might appear when the transcription is inserted while sending an audio message. Workaround is, scroll the transcript, or leave and return to the conversation. Regarding photos new features, a new API adds support for utahtype.heic encoded rendered image content. Regarding known issues, applications providing image content via ph content editing output dot rendered content URL in formats other than utahtype.jpg will fail within dot invalid resource error. Regarding pre-filled titles for events and reminders new features, Messages now supports machine learning based pre-filled titles for English events and reminders. Tap or long press the highlighted date time in an SMS or iMessage conversation and select create event to trigger this feature. Regarding Rosetta known issues, Intel applications might quit unexpectedly on launch under Rosetta. Workaround is, open Rosetta 2 updated app in system, library, core services, then click install. Regarding screen sharing new features, a high performance connection requires a network that supports at least 75 megabits per second for one 4K virtual display, and at least 150 megabits per second for two 4K virtual displays. Low network latency is also required for responsiveness. Regarding known issues in a high performance connection with two 4K virtual displays to an M1 or M1 Pro server, the video and cursor may lag. When the viewer window and screen sharing dot app is made full screen with dynamic resolution enabled in a high performance connection, the video content might not resize to fill the window. 
In some screen sharing sessions using the new high performance mode, the display connected to the server Mac might not blank. Activity in the screen sharing session will be visible on the server Mac's display during and after the session ends. Regarding screen time settings known issues, selecting a family member in screen time causes an error to occur in iCloud accounts with family sharing enabled and a family member that is under 18. Workaround is, open the family settings, select a family member, and click screen time. Regarding Wi-Fi known issues, while a Mac has active traffic via Wi-Fi, you might experience difficulty discovering and connecting to continuity camera. Workaround is, stop active traffic over the Wi-Fi link before starting a continuity camera session. So, these were the important updates regarding the macOS Sonoma 14 Beta 2 update. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official macOS Sonoma 14 Beta 2 release notes. So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.